As Tim and Molly mentioned, there are many ways to connect the software platforms you use in your business. Integrations bring these tools together to share important actual information between platforms. Simply simplify the transfer of information so that you can work seamlessly within your day. They touched on three types of integrations, native, third party, and custom API. Let's take a look at native integrations first. Native integrations allow you to connect your favorite platform seamlessly without using a third party system. You can create the exact connections that you want between two platforms. There are many reasons to use native integrations. Easily sync contact data, build automations triggered directly from integrations, effectively manage pipelines and contact journeys. Now, third party integrations. Ernie, Ernie and I can sit here all day and explain this, but it might be better to hear from an actual third party integration provider. So we enlisted the help of our friend Sophia, who is the partner manager over at Zapier. Let's see what she has to say. Hi there, my name is Sophia Stolle and I'm a partner manager at Zapier. It's a tool that allows you to connect apps to automate your workflows. And today I'll be introducing you to the world of automation and third party integrations. So on a high level, a third-party integration is a separate tool designed to connect seamlessly with another solution in order to extend its core use cases. The main software acts as a central hub where information is collected and shared between each third-party system connected to it. So we'll be digging into the power of using third-party integrations to not only go beyond the main function of your solution, but also help automate tasks you typically have to manage manually. So first of all, we're a codeless solution which gets around the hurdle most uh, non-technical business owners run into when they're trying to expand on the functionality of their tools. If you're like us, uh, you know, you've spent a lot of your time handling repetitive but business critical tasks and no one wants to copy and paste data, upload CSVs or send the same email sleuths every day. But these are the things that keep a business running. So how is a third party integration like Zapier gonna help you with that? So these third-party solutions help you connect the apps you use every day and process information in new ways. Zapier takes it a step further and allows you to automate this in the background. And this is one way that Zapier can really do it for you as well. When you head to your uh, app directory of integrations, think of all the repetitive tasks that you can automate, like CSVs you need to upload, tackling uh, tasks in your to-do list, or sending the same emails, making sense of form responses in all your, in all your tools. So, whatever your workflow, there's a good chance that a third-party integration will be a really useful and powerful tool for you to help really expand and grow very quickly. Um, so, you know, let's tackle the big question first, which is, you know, what is an automation? You know, an automation is a technique used to operate something or, you know, automatically. It saves time, eliminates human error, and most importantly, it solves problems. You know, we're surrounded by automation in the technology we already use, you know, you're probably automated uh, tasks on a daily basis without even thinking about it. You know, take your phone, for instance. It has alarms that you can set to go off at certain times. You know, there are reminders that you can set up and you can also create rules for when you should or shouldn't show your alerts. What about your email inbox? You can create rules and filters to automatically move it into the right folder or you can reply with messages automatically as well. What's common here is that you spend a little bit of time setting up these rules and it just runs. You don't have to think about it, but it saves time and solves a lot of problems. And we designed our third-party solution to be simple and straightforward so that automating these business workflows is accessible to, to everyone and easy to set up. Plus, we have over 3,000 apps that you can connect with, including things like ActiveCampaign, uh, Typeform, Facebook Lead Ads, and ClickFunnels, just to name a few. And the idea behind Zapier as a solution is really simple. We have a Zap, which is the integration, and it's made out of two parts. So there is the trigger and there's the action. And so with a zap, you can only have one trigger that starts it. And you can think of the trigger as telling the zap when to begin doing something. And we all have everyday tasks we need to do like responding to feedback, checking emails, whatever that reoccurring task is, you need to use a third party integration to help remind you with something like scheduling app, which is like a very simple use case. And action is basically the next step is when a task, um, a zap performs after it's been triggered. So a trigger tells a zap when to do something and an action is when the zap actually does it as this next step. And so the great thing about this is the zap can have as many actions as needed. So you can make a very complicated um, workflow using third-party integrations. And you know these are two pieces uh, that create a zap 
which are essentially the workflows that connect your apps and perform the red repetitive and routine work for you. You know, using Active Campaign as an example, you can easily use Zapier as a third party solution to set up additional automations, such as creating subscribers from form submissions or automatically update or add new contact information from tools like Facebook lead ads. Um, and the nice thing is utilizing third party integrations to remove tedious tasks can be as simple as connecting two apps or as complicated as incorporating your entire tool stack. You can make the most of your valuable time by leveraging third party solutions um, with the current tools that you use today. And thank you again for uh, joining me today. If you have any questions, like to learn more about Zapier, you can visit us at zapier.com. Until then, have a good one. Thanks, Sophia. Now on to custom API integrations. API stands for Application Programming Interface, and a custom API integration is a way to build your own integration between two platforms that just don't talk to each other in the way that you want them to. Now, custom APIs require a bit more technical legwork, but that doesn't mean that you need to have a computer science degree to make them happen. Now, without getting too far into the weeds, here's what you need to know. API integrations work by exchanging a software's API key, more on this later, and entering it into the other software. This lets both tools know where to send and where to look for the information. API integrations use something called webhooks to send specific event information from one platform to another, which you can use to trigger another event in that other platform. Again, this requires a fair amount of technical knowledge, which, to be completely honest, I just don't have. So at the risk of saying something incorrect and leading you astray, I'm going to end the lesson on custom APIs here. Hi, thank you for watching. If you are enjoying Growth Decoded, you can find a link in the description to sign up and join the Grow team. You'll get exclusive content and opportunities that have to do with the show. You can also hit the subscribe button for ActiveCampaign's YouTube channel somewhere down here and you will never miss an update from us.